Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny Penton, founder of Planner Perfect. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. The morning pages. So stay tuned. Welcome back, you guys. We are going to be talking about The Artist's Way. Um, and she had come up with, um, she's an author, a creator, um, best-selling author, Julia Cameron. And she had this idea off of her own life. She began to write and write and write and write in the morning as a way for self-healing. She was going through something and then she found that it helped to get rid of all the gunk that was going on in the head so that the flow of her creativity could finally begin. So the reason why I'm going to be talking about this today is not only have I been doing this before the morning pages, but for my journaling over in Planner Perfect Fans, we are incorporating the morning pages into our daily routines. So for the 30 days that we're gonna be journaling, we're gonna be using a spiral bound notebook and we're gonna be trying it out. We're gonna be doing it. I've already done it. It is a really, really amazing. It goes, I mean, it flows so seamlessly with the method of mine where just scripting in general, when you're writing and you're writing and you're writing and you're, you just be, you just get a flow, a flow of ideas, a flow of creativity. Um, she pay, praise, she does pay tribute to God quite a bit. Um, she might slip universe in there a couple times, but, um, and on, quite honestly, I haven't even really read her book. I have it and I've had it, but I haven't gotten all the way through it. But the, the idea that she has, has been, um, women across and men alike all across the world have been utilizing the benefits of the morning pages. So the concept is right when you wake up you are going to just write whatever's on your head. It's a brain dump of sorts. Your pages don't have to look pretty um, and you need to do at least three pages front and back. So you're, it's a lot if you really think about it, but just you're just writing down everything. Like, I can't believe I, I woke up too early or you just, whatever is on your in your mind, which if you think about it, how great is it? Because you're getting all of that stuff that's in your head out on paper and once it's all out then the good stuff flows it just does so once you get all that negativity out or it not even doesn't even have to be negative but all of the stuff that's just in your head once you get it out now you're free to flow and what comes out is just creativity things you'd love to do things you want to begin things you love things that um spark interest I mean, you won't even know where it came from. It'll just be, it'll just be amazing. Um, all of the benefits that you'll find by beginning the morning pages. Now you're supposed to start it right away. So just grab a pen, go downstairs, you know, wherever you go into your comfy spot when you wake up and before you even get your coffee brewed, you're supposed to be doing it, but you do you. And so even if you just had your coffee and you're sitting there and you're writing down those pages, you can do your quiet time after that or do your normal routines after that. But um, she really um, pushes to really just begin. So, cause we usually always have some things kind of within the mind when we do wake up and this helps to declutter it so that we can get going with our days. So this will be really, I think, a wonderful challenge for us over in my journal group on Planner Perfect Fans. You can sign up down below and all you gotta do is join the group and um, you'll see last month's, you'll see videos. I go live every Thursday where we will, it's a journal with Jenny live and we have a lot of fun over there. We're just gonna be, this Thursday, we're gonna be setting up our July journal. You can grab a sub box of mine or just a journal too. You can, um, you know, join with that or grab, you know, grab a journal that you got on hand so you can get in there and do it. Um, and I'll link everything that you'll need to know um, down below. You can also find any kind of favorites of mine products and whatnot 
in my Amazon store. That is also linked down below. So my favorite tools that I'll be using in journaling, they will be down there and they're always continually added. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using, you know, a spiral notebook. Now I offer spiral notebooks. I'm going to be using mine. My own has my artwork on the cover. So I'm just going to be opening it up, getting my coffee, and I'm just going to begin just writing down everything that I'm thinking about, like whatever it is. And just wait, just watch because the creativity is going to flow. You know how many DMs I get, honestly, on women think that they say, um, and they leave it on my social platforms. They'll say, I've got nothing to write about, or I don't have this kind of talent, or I don't have any talent. Or, I don't, um, I don't know what to write in my planner. I don't know what to do. I don't think I have talents. I don't, um, this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that. These are all caps. These are all stifling. These are words that stifle. They're untruthful. And um, all, it do, all it's doing is stopping you from growth. And so it's good for us to even get that out. If you're feeling like that and it's in your head as you wake up, write it all out, get it all out, and just watch what comes out. I cannot wait to hear all about you and your new morning pages routine. I bet you anything you won't want to stop and you'll keep on doing it um, and make it a part of your morning routine to do the morning pages. Um, so the morning pages, you can get the book or you can just kind of read up about it. I do suggest that you do. It's the artist's ways. This is, I've got the 25th anniversary edition, a spiritual path to higher creativity, Julia Cameron. I will link that down below as well so you can grab a copy if you want. And I wanted to get the, you know, the just the the book itself because rather than Kindle because I really wanted to, you know, look through it. So my this month is this is the book that I'm going to be my book read that I'm really going to be heavily looking into it. So, and, and reading it. So alongside, you know, already diving into the morning pages. So there you have it, the morning pages. I wanted to give you a quick course on it, share with you uh, all of I know about it and how it has helped me, which has been tremendous. Um, I find that the scripting method already gives me creativity. Um, and I've always stated that when you script out your life and you are detailed with how you want to live and you really plan out and map out and visualize and you get in that zone, you really start to begin to get ideas. Um, I call them God downloads. They just, you, you're just like, Hey, well, what if you did this? Or why don't you begin this? Or why don't you pull back here? Or why don't you go over here and do this? And you just get all these ideas rather than that's why this system is, it can't be beat because with my method of planning your life, you are a visionary and you're living on top of your game and you'll succeed at everything that you put your hands to. Um, and it is different than day to day focusing only on tasks, tasks at hand and small squares to live your life in. Like that's all you are is this square rectangle of life when there's so much about you that you should be writing, doing, enjoying, savoring, um, being passionate about. And to write about it shows intention. And then it just, when you write, it's an intention. And then it goes back and cycles up in the mind and it impresses it. And it gives you intrinsic motivation to pursue it. And whereas to-do lists and tasks can almost be where you feel a separation between you and the task because you didn't really put detail of how, when, why, or, uh, you know, all the details surrounding why you're even doing what you're doing. And this method does that. It, it, it breaks down things down to the, to the bare bones of intentions of why, why you're doing it. And if it's not good enough for you, then get rid of it. I mean, if you're missing dinner every night because you've got to go run this certain thing or go here or do this, change things up. You don't have to do majority of what you're doing and busyness does not equate success. So what you do do should be well thought out, well planned, well envisioned and well written out. 
And when you do that, you'll see now that even when you use these morning pages, a special place, just really make sure you brain dump first. That'll give you just an added oomph to be able to be as creative and as wonderful and as beautiful a person as you are to really live a life of purpose and live out God's plan for your life. So there you have it, guys. Again, I just wanted to expound more on how the two, the method and really the morning pages flow. So I'm excited to combine them this month. I'll see you over on Planner Perfect Fans Journaling. I'll be live this Thursday. I'll see you there.